What's up, my PT peeps and my Walking Dead family? One Eye Bri back to talk about Fear the Walking Dead and the latest episode, and if it was a callback to Glenn or not. Spoiler warning if you're not up to date of the show of Fear the Walking Dead, Season 3, Episode 11. Spoiler warning of that, because we're going to talk about it a little bit. It's not a spoiler video by any means, but we are going to talk about the latest episode of Fear the Walking Dead, so just general spoiler warning. But how does the latest episode of Fear the Walking Dead connect to Glenn? First, let's talk about Glenn Ree for a second. We've seen him in The Walking Dead for a lot of the series, not as of late, of course, but from the very beginning of the series from season one all the way to season seven. But the main thing we're going to talk about here is Glenn from season two. The connection with Fear the Walking Dead isn't a big connection. It's just a callback sequence and scene of it. There's no hope or big connection that we're going to see Glenn magically appear in Fear the Walking Dead. That would be freaking awesome though if it happened, but it's a connection of the early season of The Walking Dead, mainly season two, but let's talk about the scene of Fear the Walking Dead that's connected here. The Fear the Walking Dead scene is with Madison, Strand, and Taka, well Walker, whatever you want to call them. They were stuck in the pipe or the waterway that wasn't, no water was going through it, but they were stopped because there was a thing blocking the way. It was a walker, almost like a well walker. Even though this wasn't a well, it was a waterway and a tube that would go to the canal, to the dam where the water was being held. But the walker looked pretty similar to season two of the well walker. So the main connection is of the two walkers, but how it was connected was the same kind of thing. The walker, they needed to remove the walker because it was going to block their way to get to the dam, Madison and Strand, just like in season two. The well walker was going to pollute the water and they needed to get it out. And it's a very recognizable walker, maybe the most recognizable walkers of the series. The well walker and I guess the dam walker, I guess if you want to call it there too. But the walkers look pretty similar. It has to be a callback because it's a bloated fat walker, just like the one that was sitting in the well when Glenn had to go down for it. So the walkers are the connection of it. Did you think of that right away? I kind of did, but kind of didn't at the same time. But you can see the connections and how they look. The two walkers are bloated and fat and swollen. And of course, it's different ones in a well and ones blocking the way to where Madison was going. But I just like the idea of the callback to season two of The Walking Dead. And I wish there was more actual connections between the two series, like where we're going to run into Glenn or Morales or somebody or Madison was connected to Daryl or Rick Grimes or something going around. But I just don't think it is. If there ever be a crossover point, that would be pretty awesome. I would love to see that. It would be good for Fear the Walking Dead. As for the Well Walker and the, I don't know, Pipe Walker, Well Walker 2, Second Walker, I don't know, whatever you want to call the connection on there. So it's an indirect connection to Glenn, but I just thought it was a nice connection of it as well they try to remove the walker out of the well and that's one of the best scenes of season two i think season two to me is one of the weaker seasons of the series to me it's one of the weakest and one of my least favorite seasons of the series and i like the connections possibilities and the callbacks between the two series or in the world and universe of the walking dead because the two shows aren't directly connected but they are connected as it's the same universe of the walking dead so one's the west coast one's the east coast on there but i just love the scene of the well walker it's it's pretty gross and pretty gory i have an actual plush stuffed animal thing i got from walker stalker atlanta of the well walker that kind of separates but it's pretty cool and like I said, the Well Walker has got to be one of the most recognizable or iconic walkers of the series. And I like the idea of the possible callback to Glenn, to The Walking Dead, through the Fear of the Walking Dead walkers. And maybe it's a stretch, but I just thought it was a good idea and a connection. Post your comments below if you agree or disagree. But what do you think of it, guys? Is it a callback to Glenn or not? Like I said, post your comments below if you agree, disagree. What did you thought of the episode? of Fear the Walking Dead. So there you go, guys. If you can, you know the channel, the PT channel. If you're on Facebook, give my page a follow and a like. And of course, subscribe here to this channel if you're new. The Walking Dead News is my new channel that I'm trying to grow, 
continue the Walking Dead trend to have Walking Dead specific content just for that channel. Fight for us, the book series online, Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, on Kindle, books one, two, and three, Instagram at the PT channel, and Twitter at the PT channel. We got the Walking Dead community. We got a page and a group on Facebook, the page and the group. Everyone's welcome to join. And if you can, guys, hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends, tell your family, they hit the subscribe button. Continue to make this channel huge and hit our goal of 100,000 subscribers. You guys are awesome, and thank you for watching.